All right, this is a uh, QUsers.com uh, initial review of the Motorola Q. Just got one today. I've been carrying it around for about four or five hours. Just want to give you guys some initial impressions of it. Uh, I know you've seen lots of pictures. It's a very thin device, very lightweight. Uh, carried around in my front pocket all day without a case and uh, just slid right in. Uh, really easy to get in and out and real, just real, uh, I didn't even know it was there. Just a great little device. Uh, didn't have any problems with it. As you can see, it's just so thin. It's about as, it's about as thick as my pinky finger. Uh, I'm going to just sh give you a few, uh, show you a few features of the Q tonight. Just a few uh, different applications and things. I'll bring it in a little bit closer. I'm going to start out, uh, you hit the, to the left of the D-pad, there's the home key. It's the soft key. Just hit that key and that'll bring you up. I'm going to show you, of course, this is an EV EVDO device on the Verizon Wireless Service. Uh, I'm going to show you a few features. Uh, let's start with Internet Explorer. As you can see, there's a list of applications on the top row, and you can use your D-pad uh, to scroll back and forth between those. That's your most kind of the most recent applications you've used kind of automatically pop up there. Um, if you want to move up and down this menu, you can actually use the uh, the jog wheel on the right, and that'll show you. Uh, you can go down, look at your uh, your text messages, your emails. Uh, actually, have Bluetooth turned on, so it shows Bluetooth in the menu. Uh, latest news, uh, you can cuss. All this is customized. It shows my profile is normal, so that means the ringer's on. Go back up to the D-pad, or go back up with the scroll wheel, and then we'll use the D-pad to go over to Internet Explorer. Launch that. <clears throat> it's going to show you a list of favorites that it has in there. Uh, these are just the default ones that uh, Motorola and Verizon choose to throw in there. Uh, let's check out another site, though. If you want to hit the soft key under the menu, that it's going to let you choose in the address bar or some other options. Let's choose the address bar. Of course, that'll pop up. Let's go ahead and try out this site. And as I'm putting in Q and U, it's going to show all the other sites that I put in. So I'm just going to use the D pad, tab down, and select the site that I want. And then I'll push the button in the center of the D pad, and that's going to load that site for it. Now there's different modes for the web browser. You can this is in desktop mode, so you can use the D-pad to scroll around um, the website uh, horizontally and vertically. We'll go down. Notice how fast it'll scroll with the D-pad. I'm just going to hold it down, and it scrolls nice and fast all the way down. Of course, it'll scroll to the right horizontally as well. You can also use the scroll wheel uh, to maneuver on the website. And that's nice too. It's not, it's, it's neat, it's, it's able, it, it lets you select the links better, but it's not as fast as using the D-pad, just holding the D-pad down if you want to get, if you want to move up and down the site real quick. And if you don't want to uh, use the desktop version, you can hit the soft key right under menu. That's going to bring up the view feature, you can hit view, and of course it's on set desktop, if you go to default uh, it'll kind of make it, it'll slim it up, and if you use one column, we'll try that, hit one column, and it'll reformat the page for you to where everything's stacked, so you can see all the text is, I don't have to, there's no horizontal scrolling when you use that, it just goes back and forth. And that's just a quick introduction for Internet Explorer. Hit the home key, it's going to take us back to the main menu. We're going to check out the Windows Media Player that I've been messing with today. And I encoded a episode of The Office, uh, Windows Media, encoded it at, uh, I believe it was 320 by 240, 15 frames per second at a variable bit rate. And we'll go ahead and play that, a little bit of that for you. And if you want to adjust the volume while it's playing, you can use the uh, scroll wheel on the right. One thing that that does is whenever you use a scroll wheel to adjust the volume, it takes out a full screen mode for some reason. I'm not sure why it does that. And you can see in the right hand corner, it'll show the percentage volume and it's nice to move, you can move the volume up and down with that. 
And then once we have our volume adjusted, go ahead and hit the menu and take it back to full screen. And if you want to flip it around, show the uh, dual speakers on the back, they're nice, very loud. Um, listen to it, walking down the street today with uh, horns honking and traffic in it, uh, sounded really good. Very loud, it's good for, uh, music as well. And And if you hit the center uh, button in the D-pad, let you stop it there, or let you pause it. And it, the media player works the same way for music. It, the music works fine. Um, it's just like any other Windows media player, basically. And we'll go down to stop the file. And hit the home screen to go back to the main menu. Of course, on the home screen, uh, you've got... Uh, using the d-pad to go up and down you've got shows your email count your text message count I actually haven't set email up yet so that'll have to wait for another review but it does show your text messages and if you press the center button on the d-pad it'll show you your messaging uh, options and you've got of course text messages uh, outlook and uh, and now we're back at the home screen and uh, that just about does it for the uh, initial QUsers.com video review of the Q. One more thing I wanted to show you that I was a little disappointed in is the mini SD slot cover. It's pretty complicated. It's it's real small, and I mean a device this small, I guess you can't make everything just super user friendly because it's so small. But it's a little bit hard to get off, and I, I struggle with it as a you kind of have to really push on it to get it off, and uh, that's going to expose the uh, SD card. Go and see it. Just push it in with your fingernail, and then it pops out. And I've got a two gigabyte uh, mini SD that I installed this morning. Put it back in. You just kind of line it up and slide it in, and that cover kind of fits back into place. And that does it for the QUsers.com initial review of the Q.